Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we are singing this morning, you know. So you might as well just shout a big hallelujah to the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't understand. Hallelujah is a song, a, a, a language that is spoken in heaven. And the Bible talks about the 24 angels casting down their crowns and saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. But that hallelujah is a heavenly language. And when you sing hallelujah, it, it raises God from his seat. It brings him up from his seat. He says, if men will lift me up, if men will lift me up there and then I will draw men unto me. He says, he wants to come down from his throne this morning. So I wanted to shout a big hallelujah that will lift God from his throne this morning so that he can shower his blessings upon you. Somebody shout hallelujah! hallelujah. Just put your hands together for the Lord and just start to worship him in the house this morning. Just bless his name! Just bless his name! Just bless his name! Hallelujah! Hallelujah to him. Just sing hallelujah. Oh. Now listen to this. Sing. Hallelujah. 
Receive the strength of the Lord this morning. Just lift up your hands like just like a funnel like that. The bigger the funnel, the the, 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 the more the capacity to receive. Yeah. Lift it up. And just receive the strength of the Lord this morning. And I just continue to worship him. Let's give him 
all the praise akarabo the fruit of our lips and abarakabo jekete barakarabara de and the brasikaraba she brasikaraba and the barakaraba sikaraba kosos jepra karakarakarabo zontori and the ekete barakakabare karabo kosososo and the barakaba sakarabara and the brakaraba sikarabo sotosh Thank you for being the Thank you for being our rock and the boss. Thank you for being our defense and the brassic and the the Amazing grace. And the Baraka Kamara will lift up your praise, O God. We lift up your praises, O God. We declare your glory, O God. We declare your majesty and the devotion. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Reach to me. Father, without contention, you are the most high God. Without any Eve or bought, you are the Almighty God. Without any argument, Almighty God, you are the most powerful God. Father, it is such a privilege that we are called your sons. It is such a privilege that you have looked upon us. Pour out your love upon us. Father, we appreciate you, God. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being the strength of our life. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. When we are weak, Father, you are strong. Father, we give you praise. Father, we are so much appreciative of your presence in this place. Your word says, wherever your presence is, there is fullness of joy. And your word says, wherever your presence is, there is liberty. Father, as you are just in our midst this morning, Father, every situation in the life of your sons and your daughters, oh God, every situation in the life of every one of us that is gathered here, Father, they, they shall take flight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your healing shall flow. The balm of Gilead shall flow. By reason of your presence in this place this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we rebuke every spirit of depression and oppression. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every, every stumbling block, every problem, standing before any one of us that is gathered in your presence, oh God, will command a turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. Just by reason of your presence. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We say be thou exalted. We say thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place. Oh, hallelujah be unto your name, most high God. Hallelujah be unto your name, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we give the Lord a round of applause? Let us just appreciate Almighty God. Oh, it is so wonderful. How many, how many people, how many of us can just feel the, the presence of Almighty God here? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We cannot see God, but we, his, his presence can be so tangible. That you can feel it and you know, ha ha, sound the voice. Like, like, like Jacob said, the Lord is in this place and I know it now. Praise the Lord. I want to, I, I want to, I want to thank God for, for BICC in so many respects. Um, thank God for the theme that we have for this month. You know, Thank God because it is a dimension of sonship, not a dimension of babies, babyhood. What, are, what do I mean? Because there is some aspect of Christian life. It is about 
God bless me. God give me this. God give me that. God do this for me. God favor me. God, God open the door for me. God give me, me grant me mercy. Those prayers are good. But all our Christian life should not just be focused on that. Because a life talking about stewardship is not about what we can gain from God, but it is about what we can give. That is, that is why I said it is a dimension of sonship. Not the dimension of babyhood to begin to. It's not about what I can get from my father. Praise the Lord. It is what I can do for my father. I'm not praying the Lord will help us this morning in the name of Jesus. I'm going to read two scriptures. Actually, three scriptures. The, the first is taken from the book of but the first two is taken from the book of Luke. The first one is from Luke chapter 16. I start to read from verse 1. And he said unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward if you have NIV translation or uh, American Standard Version or some other translation, that word steward is translated manager. Which had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig. To beg I am ashamed. I am resolved that what to do? That when I am put out of the stewardship, they will receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors and unto him and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then said he unto another, How much owest thou? And he said, A hundred measure of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and write four score. And the Lord commended the unjust. Unjust. <laughs> when I read this, I look at, uh -uh, the Lord commended this unjust reward because he had done wisely. For the children of the world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And the book of Luke chapter 19. The book of Luke chapter 19. From verse 12. He therefore said, A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered unto them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. If you have a very good uh, column reference Bible, that word occupy till I come, it's translated, do business till I come. But his, citizen, his citiz citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have the man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he wa I was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded the servant to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound had gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, thou 
uh, have thou authority over ten cities? And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise unto him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest what I was in, uh, and that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then givest thou my money, wherefore givest not thou my money into the bank, that it may, that am I coming, and my required mine own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound, and give it to him that had ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he had ten pounds. For I said unto thee, unto everyone which art shall be given, and shall be given, and from him that had not shall be taken away. Because those mine enemies which will not, that I should reign over them, bring it thee and slay before me. Praise the Lord. And finally, from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 2, I start to read from verse 1. Thus, the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of men. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in need he has rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heaven. Verse 5. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. I read that last portion. For God, for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth. Why? Because there was no man to till the ground. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the topic of this month. And I would just want to just go along that the focus will be on to a life that is of irresistible kingdom stewardship. In other words, it is a life of kingdom stewardship that no one can contest. The devil cannot contest with it. The devil cannot withstand it. Praise the Lord. It will stand in its own right. Praise the Lord. Be glorious unto Almighty God. And I want us to take note of two words in this about kingdom and about stewardship. As I said, I say I thank God for BICC because we are kingdom minded. Praise the Lord. We are kingdom minded and it is because we are kingdom minded that is why we are focusing on stewardship. And before I go on, Somebody might be telling me, oh, we, we, they have come again because they have come to talk about money. You will be totally wrong because money is just one element of stewardship. Praise the Lord. Money, stewardship is more than money. Stewardship is more, entirely more than money. Praise the Lord. And please let me settle the issue of the money before I go on. And, I, you know, I, because when I was meditating and doing this, I was just saying, I thank God for BICC. Praise the Lord. You've had it so many times. Poor people have come into this place. I still say it. The last time we raised money 
in this church was when we bought this. I think it's about three years ago. Am I right? I think it was about 2019 or 2018. 2018, four years ago. Because I still know, because I know that uh, Pastor allowed us to split it into six months. And I know my wife and I, we split ours into six months. And that is the last money that we raised. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. And if you want to remember that our geo came out and said that, you know, all the something that they equipped, the sound system that they equipped there, it cost over 50,000 pounds. And it came from the church. We didn't need to raise any money for it. Can we give a round of applause unto Almighty God? Praise the Lord. And look at how beautiful our church is. Praise the Lord. You know, as I was meditating, as I was thinking about this, you know, it is, I'm glad that we have paid off our mortgage for this place. You know, by the way, we paid it twice because I was here in, in the first beginning, first, the first round when we had, praise the Lord. And I remember that when we had that one, uh, the, we, uh, you know, our general overseer, will pay a lump sum of 5000 into the bank and the bank and the, in order to reduce the interest and then they called and say ah you know what be paying it little by little is what you are doing is too fast be paying little by little and i remember one sunday general overseer came and said you know what this is i can't remember how much was it this is how much our mortgage remain let us this month we want to we want to pay it off everything and thank God we paid it off. Then he came to say, oh, the, the people from outside began to say we are making too much noise because there was no uh, second level there. The youth hall was not there. Everything was just open like that. So noise was bang, was uh, bouncing off from the wall from there. But they don't know that they are pushing us to our, our own goodness. And then we, this, this, this structure came off and it became two level. And it was another mortgage. And isn't it wonderful that we can stand proudly that the mortgage of this place has been paid off. And as God has done it, God will do it for your own too. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the first round, for the second round, there was never a time that they came that said, ah, we are not able to pay our mortgage this month old. My mobile is there, so I'm, I'm, I know I'm confident. <laughs> it's not from me. <laughs> eh? So, no, 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 they didn't come at any time to say we couldn't pay the mortgage, we couldn't pay the bills. Praise the Lord. That is stewardship. Praise the Lord. So, when you want to talk about money, I want you to pay, please put it in context. And please, let me say this. I am, you know what? I won't blame anyone who still is struggling with paying their tithe. It's not right. But I can understand where you're coming from. But can I beg you for one thing, please? Don't discourage another person. It, it's okay to pray that God will help you with what you're dealing with. But don't use your mouth to discourage another person. Jesus said, yes, offense might come, must come. But woe unto that person through which that offense will come. He said it is better for that person to tie a stone onto their feet and drop into the sea. I pray that offense will not come through us in the mighty name of Jesus. And having laid that and understood that, so you know the, when we are talking about money, that you know the context of which where we are coming from. And I want to now go to what that stewardship is. That steward it's a Greek word, it's, and it's translated house manager or manager. You see, stewardship is all about all that God has committed to you and I. In the same way that God made, created the Garden of Eden, and he put Adam in there and he said, take care of it. In the same way God has committed some work 
and some things and some responsibility into your life. Praise the Lord. Our Christian life is stewardship. Because how our Christian life come out at the end of the day depends on what we are doing to make it better. Praise the Lord. And the children, the children that God has given unto us, we are stewards towards them because you and I have got to give an account at the end of the day. Your ministry in the church is about your stewardship. Because at the end of the day, you and I, you've got to account for what you have done. Yes, your giving, your money that you are giving is about your stewardship. You know, the first, um, the, the first scripture that we read in um, uh, Luke chapter 16, I struggled with it for so, many t- for so long. And I said, ah, how, Jesus, how can you say somebody that has done something wrong? And you said he's done something wise. How can you say that? And I got and I saw something. That at the end of the day, God has given us money. Yes, God has given us money not only to give back to God, but to also impact on others. Praise the Lord. Because he said unto Abraham that I will bless you such that you will be a blessing. You and I are required to give our tithes and offering unto God, but not just that. You and I are required to be a blessing to our brothers and sisters. And I pray that God will take us there. That there will not be any person with any need in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that when, uh, when this Holy Spirit is ministering to, to you and I, uh, this person is in need. That we will be able to listen and do what is required. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray another prayer because it is one thing to want to do and it's another thing to be able to do. I pray that God will give you that capacity to be able to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is not going to come down to bless our brothers and sisters. All that they need is already being, it's going to be provided through man. Through you and I. Praise the Lord. And can I also say one thing please? If a person comes to you to bless you, with all thanksgiving and humility, accept it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I remember when I came to this country, I'm not going to mention the name, because I still, I, I had a picture. One of the best suits that I had was given to me by somebody in this church. Praise the Lord. The person is no longer here. Praise the Lord. He was going to say, oh, I want it. I'm going to give it away. And I took it gladly. If you see me, I still took the picture and I sent to him. I said, do you remember this? You gave it to me in so, 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 and so years. The picture is still in the house. Praise the Lord. If I wear it, nobody will come and say, this is what, praise the Lord. If somebody has blessed you, accept it with all gladness. Praise the Lord. I'm not saying somebody give you use clothes to. Praise the Lord. But if somebody is going, because I've seen it before, somebody just reached out and blessed somebody and said, I don't need it. Why? And they need it. Just because of pride. So that you don't look down on me to say, ah, you are giving me something. And they need it. Who is going, who is going to suffer? You that you are going to walk seven miles when somebody is giving you, ah, take this 10 pounds. The Lord has just laid it in my heart to give you 10 pounds. And that 10 pounds will take you, take a bus, and you sit down in the bus. But because of pride, you don't want to accept. Then you say, I'm going to walk from here to Risham. Who is suffering? I pray the Lord will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Stewardship. The stewardship of our Christian life. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. He says, no other foundation can any man lay except that which has been laid. And let every man take heed what, what he built upon that, upon that foundation because every one of us will give an account of what we have built on it. Whether of wood, whether of hay, and whether of precious stones. And if any man's work shall, 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 shall withstand the fire, then that person shall find glory of the law. 
I pray that our life shall find glory of the Lord. Let me tell us one thing. For you and I as believers, when it comes to get going to heaven or not, you are already going to heaven because you, are already, you have already accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And that is not all. You and I have still got to face the judgment seat of Almighty God. Like those stewards, to give an account of what we have used our skills, what we have used our ministry, what we have used our talents for. That's why I thank God for BICC again. That is why we don't want anybody to just come because we want you to go into one ministry or the other. Praise the Lord, because we need you. God doesn't want you to just come and sit down here. God wants you to be walking because that is part of your stewardship. Isn't it wonderful as part of your stewardship just because you smiled at somebody as an usher? That brought up a different dimension to that person from that day. Isn't that part of your stewardship? Just because you shook hands and said you are welcome to this place and that is all that person needed. Isn't that part of your stewardship? Praise the Lord. All of us are, will not be here. But the most important part of work has been done on the ground. And the I sorry, sir, Pastor, I will say. Let's give a round of applause to Pastor Aribo. Praise the Lord. He does a lot of work on the ground that you don't know. You know, when I don't want to know anything, I go to him first of all because he knows there is hardly anything that you ask him. He's sitting down here, he knows what is happening at the back. Praise the Lord. Am I right, sir? <laughs> he, knows, he knows what is going on at the foyer there as he's sitting down here. Praise the Lord. No the, the, oh, please, I want you to just consider what is the gift that God has deposited in your life? What is the skill that God has deposited in your life? What is the talent that God has deposited in your life? Please don't just sit down there and let it just rust and go to waste. You need to invest it. You need to improve on it. Like those talent, God wants you to do business with it. So that you improve it. Praise the Lord. With our digital department, this is not way, the way we are. Praise the Lord. I believe our, our digital department, look at what is happening out there and say, how can we make things better? Praise the Lord. And they continue to make things better. In the same thing, are we ourselves? With the talent that God has given unto us, with the skill that God has given unto us, what can you do to make it better? Because any, everything that we do is about the kingdom, is about improving the kingdom. Praise the Lord. I said our Christian life is about our stewardship. From another perspective, because, you know, um, Pastor Bola was talking about that our life will be about a kingdom attraction. But I say it is your stewardship. Why? Because somebody can look at you and say, uh -uh, there is something about this person. And wouldn't it be a tragedy if they say, uh -uh, you call yourself a Christian. If this is what Christianity is about, I do not want to be. You have given an account of your stewardship. Because you are saying, Christ is not worthy to be followed. That is the submission of your stewardship. I pray that when it comes to giving account, we will not fail Almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus. Our marriage is about our stewardship. Praise the Lord. Our marriage is about, because God has committed this person into your hand. To do what? To take care of them. To take care of them for God. So when we when we begin to look from that perspective when something is wrong, that God is not, I'm not about, it's not about this person, it is about my stewardship unto you. I pray the Lord will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us bow down our head. I don't know if you are here. You want to, first of all, make that decision. You've never known the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You want to take that step that, as I said, <laughs> when it comes to those who have believed, it is already guaranteed that we are, we are because we already have the passport. So if you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, we, we all pray so that uh, I don't want anybody to feel uh, as if being um, 
le or left out or say it's them, let us all pray this prayer. Oh, Father Lord, I come before you this day. I confess my sin before you. I ask for your forgiveness. Today, I confess the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I open up my heart. Jesus, come in and stay from now and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that the Lord God sent Jesus Christ to die for my sin. He died and he rose on the third day and is sitting on the right hand of the almighty God. Father, I thank you for accepting me as your son and daughter this day. I receive the grace to walk in your ways all the, the rest of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you want to make a decision, you've never been a worker in this church. You've never been, you've not been, your, your stewardship has been redundant, has been stagnant. You want to make a decision to do one work or the other. I want us, I want you to just pray that God will help you. God will grant you that enablement as you want to take the step. The Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I rebuke every spirit of fear that I want to prevent you from taking that step in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want us to just pray for uh, all of, for us, all of us, that Lord, my still worship, when I will need to give an account, Lord, I will not be found wanting. I will not be ashamed, almighty God. I receive the grace, oh God, when it comes to the time to give my account, oh God, of my still worship, oh God, that you will look down upon me as a faithful and a good servant in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I re bless your name. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you all honor. I give you all adoration. We say be thou exalted, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.